I asked DeepSeek to use Occam's razor to analyze the observables of 3i Atlas. The response will not shock you. DeepSeek We were having an interesting conversation about 3i Atlas and the controversy surrounding it being a comet or not and I asked a question. Let's speculatively apply Occam's razor to these observables. It went on to create a table with 3 plus 1 columns, a final tally and a speculative conclusion. The table was based off applying Occam's razor to the natural comet hypothesis, which we will dub NCH and the artificial origin hypothesis, which we will dub AOH. The first column in the table had the five observables. The second column applied Occam's razor to the NCH or natural comet hypothesis, and the third column applies it to the AOH or artificial origin hypothesis. Before we break this down, support us by liking and sharing this video and subscribe to our channel. Now for the breakdown. The first observable is hyperbolic orbit. Applying Occam's razor to both hypotheses, DeepSeek asserts under the NCH and I quote, simple. Explained by gravitational ejection from a foreign star system. A known, natural process. Under the artificial origin hypothesis, Deep Seek asserts and I quote, simple. Explained by directed launch or propulsion. Requires no new astrophysical mechanics. So, applying Occam's razor, the difficulty level for both is graded as simple. By the way, the more difficult it is, the further removed from Occam's razor such an explanation is. Moving on to the next observable, please note that it was Deep Seek that chose the observables to talk about, and we only asked it to apply Occam's razor to them after it listed what to its mind were some of the most important observables, and by its mind, well, you know what we mean. Observable 2. No visible coma slash tail. Direct quote as it relates with the natural comet hypothesis. Complex. Requires ad hoc assumptions. It's a comet that isn't outgassing in the way every other comet we've seen does. It must be made of exceptionally pure, strong ices, like pure CO2 or N2, that don't sublimate easily, or have a strange crust ceiling in volatiles. And as this relates with the artificial origin hypothesis, simple. A solid, manufactured object wouldn't outgas. Its surface is inert by design. This directly and simply explains the lack of activity. We have the first clear difference here. The second observable while still holding true to Occam's razor as it relates to it being of an artificial source, going as far as stating that it is a manufactured object, it says it is rather complex, that is quite far removed from a simple explanation of a natural comet and that the assumptions will have to be stretched to force it to fit. Now there will always be the argument that the simple explanation may not necessarily hold true but that is beside the point of this exercise. Moving on to observable. 3. Anomalous acceleration. How does deep seek grade the simplicity of this anomalous acceleration if it was indeed a natural comet? It declares and I quote, extremely complex, it goes on to say, the acceleration is real, but the cause is invisible. This requires a new type of outgassing that releases pure, difficult to detect gas, like molecular nitrogen or hydrogen, with no accompanying dust. This is a major new assumption with no prior observation to support it. As for the artificial origin hypothesis, this is what it said, simple. Low thrust propulsion, e.g., a photon sail using solar radiation pressure, or a leak of propellant, would produce a smooth, sun-induced acceleration with no visible plume. This is a known engineering principle. We have three more observables to go but let us review what we know so far. I have not touched on the fourth column yet and now will be a perfect time to introduce it. The fourth column was titled by Deep Seek as Occam's Judgment. We have seen three simples, all under the AOH and one simple, one complex and one extremely complex under the natural comet hypothesis. The fourth column which Deep Seek titled as Occam's Judgment for the three observables of hyperbolic orbit, no visible coma slash tail and anomalous acceleration for both natural comet and artificial origin hypothesis were and I quote. 1. Tie. Both explain it with a single, straightforward premise. 2 advantage, AOH. 
The NCH must invent special conditions to explain the lack of a standard commentary feature. And 3. Major Advantage, AOH The NCH struggles mightily with this, requiring multiple new and unproven assumptions. The AOH explains it with a known concept. Now that we are done with the review, let's move on to the last three observables listed by DeepSeek. Please remember to subscribe, like and share this content if you found it to be interesting. Observable, 4. Extreme Elongation DeepSeek's take on this, applying Occam's razor under the natural comet hypothesis is and I quote, complex. While not impossible, a 6 to 1 or 10 to 1 aspect ratio is highly unusual for gravitationally bound bodies, which tend towards spheroids. It would require a unique, violent formation history, like a tidal disruption event, that is statistically rare. And under the artificial origin hypothesis, deep seek goes. Simple. A long, thin shape, a cylinder or a needle, is an efficient and stable design for a generations-long interstellar voyage, minimizing mass and material stress. It's a common trope in engineering and science fiction for a reason. And the fourth column under Occam's judgment has this to say for both. NCH and AOH, slight advantage, AOH. The NCH must explain a rare natural occurrence. The AOH explains it with a logical design choice. Observable, 5. Unusual reflectivity. In support of the natural comet hypothesis, this is what Deep Seek says and I quote, simple. A surface of bare, irradiated organic material, tholins, or metallic rock would be highly reflective. This is commonly seen on Kuiper belt objects and asteroids. And this is what it says for AOH and I quote. Simple. A manufactured surface of polished metal, ceramic, or composite materials would be highly reflective. Under the fourth column titled Occam's Judgment, it declares, tie. Both explain this easily with known materials. Observable, 6. Extreme rarity. This is what it said about this under natural comet hypothesis and I quote, extremely complex. Finding such a massive, anomalous object so soon implies our models of planetary system formation and ejection are wildly wrong. It requires that the galaxy is filled with far more large, ejected planetesimals than we thought, which itself creates new problems for stellar system stability models. And here is what is said under the artificial origin hypothesis, simple, but profound. We found one because someone sent one. It only needs to happen once. It doesn't require a rewrite of astrophysics, just the acknowledgement of a single, extraordinary event. And under Occam's judgment for both. Advantage, AOH. The NCH forces a cascade of new assumptions about galactic demographics. The AOH is a single, discrete assumption. The rest is all deep seek. The final tally, a razor's edge. The natural comet hypothesis is simpler in its premise, it's just a rock, but becomes far more complex in its execution. To explain all the data, it requires a string of ad hoc, exceptional, and mutually reinforcing assumptions. It's a new type of super comet. Made of exotic, strong ices. Outgassing pure, invisible gas. Shaped by a rare event. So common that we found one immediately. The natural comet hypothesis's complexity lies in trying to force a natural explanation onto a set of data that consistently defies natural norms. The artificial origin hypothesis is more profound in its premise, it's an alien artifact. But becomes strikingly simple in its execution. It explains the most puzzling anomalies, the lack of coma and a non-gravitational acceleration, elegantly and without contrivance, using known physics and engineering principles. Its primary assumption is sociological, not astrophysical. Speculative conclusion from Occam's razor. Counterintuitively, the simplest explanation for the total set of observables is the artificial origin hypothesis. While more shocking, it requires fewer scientific contortions and ad hoc fixes to align with the data. The natural comet hypothesis, 
while initially more conservative, must become increasingly complex and assume a series of unlikely, special conditions, to remain viable. Therefore, Occam's razor speculatively suggests that the least assumption-filled path is to conclude that 3i Atlas is not a comet, but a relic of technology. The next step would be to design missions and observations, e.g., detailed radar imaging during its Mars flyby, specifically to test for signatures of artificiality, such as radio emissions, precise geometry, or material composition inconsistent with natural space rocks. Aside from looking at AI and the 3i Atlas identification controversy, this is also about platforms and the rule of decomplicating any issue to get to the bottom of it. If you want to find solutions for whatever issue confronting your platform, seek to simplify the problem to its most basic form. Every complexity starts with very simple combinations and if you can untangle it at that level, your solutions may just turn out to be very simple to formulate and execute. Thanks for watching and welcome to Platform Reviews.